Guys, it's the first weekend of January, and you know what that means. A horror film. If you've been watching my videos over the past, like, I don't know, four, five, six years, <sighs> January always starts with a horror film. Last year, Woman in Black 2. The year before that, Paranormal Activity The Mark Ones. The year before that, Texas Chainsaw 3D. And The Forest is continuing that tradition. And they almost always suck. This film is about a girl played by Natalie Dormer who is looking for her twin sister who's gone missing in a forest in Japan that's notorious for being a place that people go to end their lives. She makes the journey to Japan to try to find her sister, meets up with a few people to help guide her through this forest, and then all the crazy ghost faces that you could possibly imagine pop out at her a lot. So I went into this movie with very low expectations. In fact, almost all of me expected to hate this movie, but I was kind of excited to go because it's the first movie of the year and I I love doing what I do. It'd be really easy for me to hate on this movie. It'd be super, super easy right now to just sit back and go, yeah, this movie is terrible, I hated it, and here's all the reasons, da 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 da. It isn't necessarily good, but it did surprise me, and it is a cut above your average January starting off horror film that we've had over the past many years. It is most certainly better than the ones that I've reviewed over the past few years, and a lot of that is due to the fact that you can tell the director of this movie does have a passion for what he's doing, and he is actually able to create some genuine sequences of suspense. There were actually moments of this movie that I was slightly on edge, and I did kind of give a shit. Like, let's say there was a power outage halfway through this movie, and I couldn't find out what happened. I would have been disappointed. I did want to see what happened in this story. I was interested in our main character. And that honestly shocked me because I was so ready to see the shittiest horror film of the year and it's not gonna be. There's gonna be more, I'm sure. Now, like I said, this is not a great movie. In fact, I wouldn't even really call it a good movie. It has problems and it just surprised me. It, it took me off guard that the movie wasn't a complete disaster. The performances in the movie are mostly fine and that's really the best I can say about them. They don't really go above or beyond. They're a bit workmanlike. They work for this movie and for the scenes that are in the film, but you never feel like they're really going deeper than they could. They're just fine. Sometimes I was actually invested in some of the more frightening scenes, but then there are other times where it just becomes, oh, she woke up from a dream. Oh, she woke up from another dream. Oh, she just woke up from another dream. And you're like, okay, I get it, dreams. And you have to have something scary that happens in between the talking part. But my biggest issue with this movie is the last 10 minutes. There is an absurd amount of shaky cam where someone's running through the woods for like a minute and a half straight. And you're just like, oh my God, I'm going to vomit. Please just hold the camera straight for a second. How hard is it to have a steady cam? It, it just use a steady cam, please. Look, I have one. This is called a steady cam. It's very helpful. It can do things for you. <laughs> But it's not just the execution of the last few minutes that bugged me, it's the resolution. I won't spoil it if you haven't seen the film, of course, you guys know me. It's just that the film sets up answers that are intriguing, but then the film has no idea of how to answer them and it sometimes doesn't even attempt to answer them. And where some horror films that are more cerebral, like say for instance The Shining, might have an element or a shot towards the end that just makes your brain start working and makes you feel uneasy, and it's not necessarily answered, but it works because the entire film feels as if it still works, even with that last shot, which is what I'm talking about. The last shot of The Shining makes you go like, what? And then you just feel uneasy all of a sudden. With The Forest, it feels more like they were trying to set up intriguing scenes and make you feel invested and make you feel compelled by missing information or strange occurrences, but then they never try to answer those scenes. And it just feels like they were writing something to try to make it more interesting than it was without ever trying to answer it. But I must stress that I actually did care for the most part about these characters, despite the ending that didn't have enough resolution and that felt a little bit like it didn't make sense. There were some really good ideas with this movie involving a Viewmaster. Do you guys remember Viewmasters? Yeah, one of these things. Special thanks to the makers of the forest for actually sending this to me. You know, it's it's creepy. In a way, it actually ties in to our hero's plight and her past. They do flesh her out well, and there are times where it really works, and I can't say that this is a terrible movie. It is disappointing in the way that it ends. If there was more resolution, I might actually be recommending this movie to you. It does fall into that tired cliche, dream sequence, ghost face <laughs> moments that are just, okay, I've seen that a thousand times, enough with these things. But it is a cut above your average horror film that starts out the year of January, and that's why I'm gonna give The Forest a C plus.
it did surprise me. You don't necessarily have to run out and see this movie. It's not really all that great. But if you have a day where it's raining or you don't have anything else to do and you want to watch an okay disposable horror movie, maybe check it out on Blu-ray one day in the future. So guys, I have two really cool things to tell you. As I promised, I would set up a Q&A email for you to send me some questions for a future Q&A because I want to give you guys something cool because 500,000 subscribers is amazing and I thank you so much for that. You can send me any question you want at questions for Stuckman at yahoo.com. Send me your questions there and within the next month or so, a few weeks, I will create an answers video for you guys. Questions for Stuckman at yahoo.com. Also, this is super, super huge for me. Ever since I was in elementary school, I have been writing. I started out writing on notepads. I wrote stupid, scary, goosebumps-like stories and I've loved writing ever since. I've always dreamt of a time that I could physically go to a bookstore and see a book that was written by me that I created and was able to actually look at it and hold it. Well, that's coming up very soon. The very cool people at Mango Media Publishing contacted me about a book that they wanted me to write. They had the title set up already, they had the idea set up already, and when they asked me if I would want to write this book, I was so flattered. The Film Buff's Bucket List. It's about 50 movies released from the year 2000 to 2015 that I feel you must see. They already came up with the title, and when they came to me about that, I was just like, of course, absolutely. So I spent the last few months writing that book in my spare time. It is gonna be released in March. I have left the Amazon pre-order link in the description below. If anyone wants to support me in regards to reading my book, trust me, it will not go unnoticed. I swear, I thank you so much for all the support you've given me over the years. It truly is a dream come true that I was able to write a book, and I hope that in the future, I'll be able to write my own original story as well and get that published because that's my ultimate goal. This book, I I, I just, I, I honestly, I, I, I can't believe it. It's a, it's a dream come true for me, truly. So that link is in the description below. I am endlessly grateful for your support. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.